So I wanted to share with you uh, the filters in Flash. You can get some neat effects, just like just like filters in any other program. Though they can, you can use them well, or you can use them in a sort of cheesy fashion. So I've I've just put together a little example here of just using filters so that it looks like there's a light source moving. Um, and I'm going to have you do a filter scene in your notebook. Um, so you can either do something where you use the filters or you can just do this exercise where you try out all the different filters. So I'm going to go to my properties window and I've already set up a scene with six hearts. They're ready on six layers. Um, ready to go. They've got their tweens on them. So I'm just going to start from the top one and work my way down. All right, this is in the properties window. We have a whole separate panel just for filters. And when you open it up, it's, it looks as if there's no filters in there. But down here it says Add Filter. And if you click, unfortunately it's going to go off your screen. Um, I can maybe shrink this a little bit. Yeah. So right now I can see. You get to see some of them. Okay, so Drop Shadow. I'll put on this one. And what's interesting is that you're going to be able to put the change it over time. But you always have to have it at the beginning so that you can modify it later. So even if you don't want any drop shadow at the very beginning, um, of course I'm at the end, it helps to be at the beginning when you say the beginning. So let's say I don't want a drop shadow there at all, I can take away you know, all the strength and uh, it looks as if there's none. And I can change it over time at any point. I can have that begin to show um, or have a little bit of distance and um, Maybe change the angle of it so that I can see, you know, get that moving light quality going. And of course, soften it down. Uh, you can also even change the color. So if I wanted it to be a cool shadow or, um, or you know, a hot shadow, <laughs> uh, you, can, you can do that too. But I think the, for the drop shadow, the black looks pretty darn good. I'm going to stick with the black. And now that I've started it, it went from nothing to fading in. And I'm going to come a little further and move the angle of my shadow so that it, again, appears that, like I did in the example, that that shadow is moving as if the light source was moving. Um, I can make it get stronger, uh, which makes it look like the light is getting stronger, and maybe bring it in closer at the end. So we've got coming in, moving around. Great, so that's drop shadow. I'm going to go ahead and just go down the list here. What have we got? We've got blur. Um, blur is just what it sounds like. And again, you can start it with nothing or you can start it in the opposite vein. Um, you can start it very blurry so that maybe you won't see what it is. Now notice I ha you can separate the vertical from the horizontal. I'm going to lock them and have, a, have it blur together. And I, I think I will do that. I'll start with really blurry. And then I'm going to come a little bit further uh, back. I'm working backwards. I lied. And maybe have it come into focus a little bit to reduce the blurriness. And then I'm going back in time. Maybe have it be blurrier again so that we get sort of a back and forth blurriness. And then I'm going to start it out super crisp with no blur at all. So if we look at that one now, over time, it blurs out, comes a little into focus, and then blurs out even more. So it just becomes a red mist. <laughs> OK, we've got um, glow. And this glow color, you can choose whatever color you want. I'm going to choose a yellow. And I'm going to, um, you can have it be an inner glow. And you can have it be blurred in. So in this case, I'm getting sort of a, a glowing inner glow effect. And it, it goes from no glow to an inner glow. I'm not sure if you can change the color over time. Let's try that. So the glow there is, let's make it really different. We'll make it green. I think that's not going to. Ah, it did. Surprise, surprise. The green on red looks particularly terrible. Let's change that to something a little more palatable, like a lavender color, and make it so that it goes, changes colors. 
with an inner glow. So it goes from a blue heart to a gold heart. Nice. Okay, this next one we've got, what have we got left? We've got bevel, gradient glow. Really, it's just an experiment. You can experiment with them. Um, so this is the bevel. And uh, again, it's, I think in this case I will make the shadow a color to give it a little more interest. Um, maybe a cooler red color so that we start to get some depth. The strength of it's a bit much, um, but I would like to make it a little softer. So actually that uh, looks almost like what I had originally drawn on this heart with that depth thing. So now we've got the bevel there and we can change it at the end to be more crisp and maybe even change the colors so that it's really metamorphosizing over time. Ooh. <laughs> Don't try this at home. <laughs> All right, I I could go on and on, but what I'd like you to do is go ahead and try the different filter effects. Have some fun.